Moving on to our fourth pick of the draft for me. This is just going to shock everyone, and could be that I'm a homer. Could be that I'm a Texas A&M homer. But give me Mike Elko, dude. Give me Mike freaking Elko, dude. He is unbelievable. Everywhere he's been. Everywhere he's been. Let me let me run through some stuff, right? So Duke, David Cutcliffe did a great job at Duke. He was there for like 12 or 13 years. He won the ACC Coach of the Year two times. Great. Awesome. He gets fired because he went 5-7, and 2-9, and 3-9. All right. That was the standard there. That was the standard there when Mike Elko came in there. And recruiting ranking wise, they were 48th, 62nd, 57th in those years before Mike Elko came in. They're not highly recruiting. They're not a powerhouse, right? They're not. But Mike Elko, he's the defensive coordinator at Texas for Texas AM for four seasons. Did a fantastic job. Led one of the best defenses in the country the year before he coached this year at Duke. He was Notre Dame DC for a year. He uh, was defensive coordinator at Wake Forest. He was at, he coached back to back top 10. Top 10 in total yards, right? Top 10 defense. Back-to-back at what school? Bowling Green. Well, we know Bowling Green. Bowling Green's not a bad team. uh, Minnesota knows a lot about Bowling Green, don't they? They know a lot about them. But I'm just saying, he's a fantastic, fantastic defensive coordinator, right? And the thing is, he's he's reached, he's coached 10 consecutive top 50 defenses in total yards a lot. I mean, that's and, and not just at those top high caliber schools, talking bowling green, wake forest. Like th- that's a big deal, Duke. That that's a big deal. Um, efficiency wise, their defense was not as good this year, right? 62nd in the country, but their offense was what was a- incredible. His hire, he hired Kevin Johns as his offensive coordinator, right? And he was at Texas Tech with Cliff Kingsbury, he was at Memphis with Mike Norvell, and he did a great job with both of those. He has the experience at a high level with high talent, and he fantastic he hit it out of the park. The quarterback, Riley Leonard, fantastic. Did a great job. 29th in the country in efficiency metrics. And it'd be very easy for Riley Leonard to go somewhere like Notre Dame. It'd be very easy for Riley Leonard to go to another place that needs a quarterback, like Alabama. Or, well, at the time, Alabama didn't think that they needed a quarterback. But, you know, we'll, we'll talk about that another time. He stays there. They get him to stay there. They get him to stay there, which is crazy. He went 9-4 and four this year, 5-3, um, and three in the, uh, which was third in the Coastal. Um, and they won a bowl game. So, I mean, come on. That was fantastic. And their overall win total was three, and they won nine games. Well, eight games in the regular season. Are you serious? It was unbelievable. And this year, their overall win total was six and a half. So that tells you anything about the kind of job that he's done there immediately. I don't know what will. So that's all I have to say. If you have, and you also brought Tyler Santucci this year after Rob Smith left, he walked away. Tyler Santucci was linebacker coach at Texas A&M, was also very highly talented. Great defensive coordinator. If you don't have anything to add on to that, I mean. I mean, I'll just say I just could not have been more impressed with Mike Elko. I mean, I know Duke, you know, never going to be competing and recruiting winning battles with Clemson and Florida State and Miami. But you could not help but be impressed by Mike Elko. And you saw what the damage it did to a and when he left there. I mean. DJ Durkin is such a bum. I'm sorry. He's a bum. I'm right there with you. I'm and, the biggest DJ Durkin hater out there. I am, and I'm a Texas a and fan. And guess what? Everyone is in denial there that the Mike Elko loss was not that big of a deal. Huge. Are you serious? We were like 100th in the country in run defense with that talented of a front seven. Are you serious? Are you serious? And we had the best secondary in the country last year, arguably. I'm going to say arguably, okay? We had one of the best secondaries in the country last year. And everyone knew that they were, they were running the ball, right? Let's get into a four-man front. Let's do it. Let's do it with our seven five stars on the defensive line. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about in terms of Mike Elko was a huge loss and a big get for Duke. 